Hello everyone, Coach Burke with Blockers Offensive Line Academy. Thank you for watching our video today on creating a highlight film for offensive linemen. Please do us a favor, go down and click that subscribe button. And also, if you enjoy the video, please make sure you click that like button. Alignment. When making your huddle highlight film, you got to be very precise with some different things that you set up within that video. Uh, creating a huddle highlight for an offensive lineman is a little bit different than creating it for, say, a running back or a quarterback. Um, you know, it's easy for them to go through and select their top plays. You know, it was a touchdown, an 80 yard run, 40 yard pass, some of those types of things. So it's a little different when we're looking at an offensive lineman. So today we're going to take you through the beginning to the end of setting up your huddle highlight film um, that will catch the attention of college coaches and give you the best chances at being recruited. So the first thing is on that opening slide um, that you have on your huddle film, you want to make sure you have your name, the position you play, your jersey number, and your Twitter name. The reason why I would say the Twitter name is so then the coaches have a way to reach out to you uh, as well and be able to follow you on there. Also, within your huddle profile, you want to make sure that you got your GPA, your ACT, SAT scores, um, so the coaches are able to see that as well because if you don't have the grades, you don't have the test scores, um, you know, there's no reason to, to spend time recruiting you because you won't be able to be accepted into the college. The first big piece is for your plays, you want to make sure that you clearly identify who you are on the line before the play starts. Then what you want to do is make sure that you trim each play. So when you select that highlight play, you want to trim the front half of that play. You want to trim the back half of that play. So that only covers the time of, of the play going with the block. So what I mean by that is, let's say you have a, a great trap pull and you kick out the, the defensive end and the running back runs for a 60-yard touchdown. You don't need to have the whole 60-yard touchdown on there. You'll, you'll start it right when that play starts. And once you make that trap block and that running back hits that hole, boom, that play is done. You can cut it right there. So what that play that's a, you know six to ten seconds long is really only going to be about three seconds long uh, for your overall film there. So make sure you're trimming that front end and then trim that back end um, so that it just focuses on what you are doing on that play and, and for what you did great there. The other piece Make sure you front load your video. So what I mean by that is don't go game by game. Um, so the first you know, five highlights are game one. The second five highlights are game two. You want to go through, look at your entire season, and pull your best plays to the very beginning. So with that, you're, you're front loading those top plays. Um, also, you want to make sure that you have a variety of top plays. Uh, so that would be pass blocking, that would be run blocking, that would be short pulling, that would be screen blocking. Make sure you have a good mixture in there so the college coaches are able to see. You're able to go out on the screen play and work in space and get a block. You're able to uh, open those hips or those pull plays and drive the defender out. You're able to mirror a defensive lineman and, and, and keep in front of him and keep him from uh, getting to the quarterback on your pass plays. On the run plays that you're able to get that drive and, and push that defense alignment or linebacker uh, out of the position where they want to be. Um, that's the big things that a lot of coaches are looking for. They want to see movement. Uh, so when you're looking at your plays and you're getting them set up, just to kind of show you here a little bit. So if this is the offensive alignment, this is a defense alignment. If you have a play where you hit and you kind of stay right here and then you go down the line or you slowly move back this way, that's not really a highlight for an offensive lineman on a run blocking play. Those coaches want to see that when that ball snaps and you hit that defensive lineman, he is moving backwards. All right, He is getting driven off the ball. If I'm pulling, I pull, I come, I'm hitting, and I'm driving off the ball. I want to make sure I'm moving that man. You know, a lot of people talk about what's the greatest feeling as an offensive lineman is one man moving another man uh, when he doesn't want to be moved. And that's what those coaches want to see. They want to see that movement, whether that's on that, that trap pull, counter pull, whether that's straight up, you know, drive blocking, even on zone screams. A lot of people like to talk about zone schemes as being soft. I don't believe zone schemes are soft. My success of being a zone run blocking offensive lineman is being aggressive, hooking up with that lineman and then still moving him, not just running down the line going flat. The other piece is you want to make sure the front of your video captures the coach's attention. You get about 30 seconds, about four to five plays to get that coach's attention. So if you don't front load it, 
they're going to watch a couple plays. They're going to turn it off. So you want to make sure that you got it front loaded so it kind of catches their attention and they want to go through and see, you know, more. They want to see, okay, I see you coming off the ball and you're getting great hip explosion and you're moving that defense alignment off the line. Uh, I'm going to watch a little bit more to see how you handle a pass block. I want to watch a little bit more to see how you are in a screen game when I'm going out into the flats and, and blocking that defensive back. Um, so you want to make sure when, when you're doing that, you go through and select those top plays and move those to the front of the video. Also, um, don't waste time within your video on music. Um, coaches don't even listen to, to um, the videos nine times out of ten. They got it muted anyway. They're just watching the plays. They don't care about no music. Um, you know, they'll have their own radio on if they want music. You may not have the music they like anyway. So don't even worry about any music being on there. Just focus on your craft, your playing, your skills, what you did uh, in those games. So don't waste time on the videos. Also, once again, coming back to that beginning, some guys will go through and they will post a bunch of pictures, uh, you know, just live um, game action photo shots to where, you know, the first three to four clips is those steel photos. Get that first screen up there. It says who you are, where you go to school, uh, your jersey number, you know, your Twitter name, and then get into that video. Get that attention right off the bat. You want those that first, like I said, you get about three to four plays, about 30 seconds worth to get their attention or they're moving on to another player. You want to make those first few plays where it shows you coming off, screaming, running your feet, hitting that defender, driving through him, uh, looking, you know, nice and solid as an offensive lineman. And then, like I said earlier, make sure you cut that back end down. Ultimately, your video may be two to five minutes long. Um, I've come across some um, huddle highlights where they're 15, 20 minutes long. Um, and I'm watching it, and there's so much dead time with people, you know, with the running back going for a long run or a long pass and, you know, all this other stuff going on. And then I got to sit there and fast forward, and then I fast forward and I miss a, a good play. That's the reason why I said to go ahead and trim that back end down so that then you're not relying on a coach to have to click that button to fast forward, and then they may skip a play that you really wanted them to be able to see. So those are some of the big things and big keys uh, for offensive linemen when you're making highlight films. Then once you get that highlight film done and created and you got everything on huddle, then what you need to do is make sure you go and pin it to your huddle so it's at the top of your huddle profile. Um, so when people go to your profile, that's the first video that they see. Um, Especially if I if I make one and then I go back in and I start, you know, re-looking at some plays, looking at creating another type of video. Um, I know some offensive linemen will make a season highlight and then they'll make a, a pancake highlight and they'll make a pass blocking highlight. You only really need the one season highlight front loaded. But if you do like to go through and do that, you still want to make sure you got that season highlight pinned to the top of that profile. Otherwise, it's going to drop down to the bottom and those other ones will be there. And that may not be the best uh, to totally sell what your skills are. After you got it done, make sure you go over to Twitter, tweet that, tweet that video out over there on Twitter. Make sure you're tagging coaches when you're tweeting that out. If you got some coaches that have uh, DM'd you or are following you or have shown interest, make sure you tag them in those videos uh, when you're posting those out so that they know, oh, we got a new video up. I'm going to go ahead and, and take a look at this and, and see what else he did. You know, I liked what I saw games uh, one through three of this season, but then, okay, here comes that whole season. Let me go ahead and look and see, did he continue to improve throughout the season? Did he regress during the season? Did he stay the same? Because once again, while I'm in college and I'm looking, I need to see somebody who's able to continue to progress throughout the season uh, with their technique, with their skills, and able to keep the strength on that they build during the offseason to be able to continue to move those defenders off of the line. As keeping that strength throughout the offseason sometimes can be a challenge for some offensive line when your body starts to get beat up a little bit um, and you may start to drift a little bit from the focus of what you need to be in the weight room. Um, during the uh, in-season training. So make sure you're still focused on that so you're able to keep that that movement because um, that's one of the big things they want to see. So a lot of times when I go through and I'm creating these huddle highlights uh, for some of the linemen that train with us here at Blockers, um, you know, I'll go through and, and, and look for those plays where they're driving somebody off the ball, where they are uh, getting a pancake, where they are getting that good movement, where they're getting a double team block and they come off on a linebacker. So they got great movement on that double team, and then they come off, and then they get extra great movement on that linebacker as well. 
Um, so we definitely want to show that because it shows they're able to get a double team and they're athletic enough to still come off and get to that linebacker versus I'm going to stay on this double team and then that linebacker fills you know, behind you and they get in there uh, to make the tackle. So these are just a few of the things um, that I'd recommend for offensive linemen when you're creating your huddle uh, highlight for the season to make sure that you're putting uh, these things first and then focusing uh, on this so that you're able to get more exposure, get more attention, um, and then also get the coaches for what they want to see. Um, some linemen, you may be in a, a pass-heavy offense. Um, there's still times, you know, I'm, I'm pass blocking, I'm that tackle, I'm vertical set, and that defensive end's rushing. Yeah, I got control of him, and all of a sudden he tries to jump, and I take him out. That's a great highlight right there. Uh, I'm pass blocking, I hook up on him, and our quarterback goes to scramble, and he takes off running, and I drive my feet, and I'm run, you know, getting him down on the ground. So, you, you know, no matter what type of system you, your high school runs, whether it's a pass heavy, whether it's a run heavy, you can still showcase your your ability to move people. So even if I'm, I'm in, you know, a wishbone triple offense where I'm run blocking and I'm teeing off and I'm driving all the time, you're still going to have some of those play action um, passes. Um, you know, you may get three of them a game. Um, but I'm also, once again, I'm watching to see when you're coming off, how are you getting movement? Are you able to control your body when you hook on a defender to keep driving them when they try to change directions? Are you able to adjust your body and change those directions with them? Or, or are you just kind of falling forward um, as you come off? So take these keys with you as you're uh, creating that huddle film uh, to get out there to the coaches, to get exposed, especially those that are going that are in their junior year, just wrapping up. Um, once again, with the coronavirus that has really hit a lot of people uh, on the recruiting piece, it's really changed a lot of things for coaches. So they're really relying on that huddle film really big. And then, you know, this year with the junior, depending on where you live, you may not have got as many games in as you would like. Um, so you want to make sure that that huddle film it really shows your skills. And then hopefully, you know, with vaccines and things coming out, we'll be able to uh, get out to some camps this year and, and show the coaches in person what our skills are. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching our video here on offense alignment, creating a huddle highlight film. Please make sure you go down below, click that subscribe button. If you like the video, please make sure you like it. Also, feel free to share this on your social media platforms. Make sure uh, to tag some of your fellow offense alignment friends out there uh, so that they can also make sure that they set up their huddle film for themselves to give them the best chance to be recruited as well. Uh, once again, as an offensive line, we are a family. So, you know, that's what our goal here is at Blockers is to continue with the fraternity of helping offensive linemen and, uh, you know, helping offensive line coaches around the country to improve their game, improve our game, and to uh, be together as one big fraternity and helping one another. So please make sure you share and uh, pass the word around as we uh, got to rely on one another uh, as the big guys out there uh, beating our bodies up all the time uh, to help our teams win. So thank you so much once again for watching. Please make sure you subscribe.